The first thing you told me when I started working on my vows was not to use metaphors and pointlessly large unnecessary words. I will do my best, no promises. <laughs> you look amazing. You look even more amazing. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh my god. I can't like hug you or kiss you. Yes, you can. I can hug you. Is it against the rules to kiss? No. Tim and Laura went to the same school for 13 years but didn't meet until the start of 2013, which was Tim's final year of high school, with the auditions for Fiddler on the Roof production had paired them together. I often wondered why Tim spent so much time in the drama department rather than in math. But nevertheless, they became friends, and it wasn't long until they became best friends and were Skyping every single night for many months. And you quickly became suspiciously close, and then really annoyingly affectionate. <laughs> <laughs> Hobbits disappear is because what they want most is to not be seen, to go to like to, 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 to like to just live in total and you know and, to be hermits. Yeah, to be hermits. Whereas Sarah wants ultimate power, so it makes him stronger. Tim and I are in his parents' hot tub, which as we all know is a bath with friends. And Tim's telling me about Laura. He had this sparkle in his eye, and that never went away. The first thing cling that I got that this was more than just friends. Tim arrived with a very special homemade maze. I believe the object of the game was that Laura had to follow various coloured strings which led to different envelopes which contained a letter. Open when you miss me. Open when you are sad. Open when I've screwed up. <laughs> The envelope that left me flabbergasted was the one that read, Open on our wedding day. One thing we all know about Tim is that he is an open book. He cannot hide any emotion that crosses his face. <laughs> Laura, when Tim and I talk and you come up in conversation and we discuss your relationship, he cannot hide the most sincere and goofy smile as it spreads across his face. Despite having nearly 20, or well, over 25 years to prepare a father of the bride speech for Laura, <laughs> I'm left standing here today speechless at just how beautiful she looks. Just want Laura to know that both Jackie and I will always be there for you and you'll never walk alone. I think back to a little over 10 years ago when we officially met for the first time, both reading the Fiddler on the Roof audition list and seeing our names paired together. Little did we know that at that very moment our lives were changed forever. That was the day that I gained a new friend who over the following two years worked up the ranks to become a close friend, then best friend, then super best friend, then super best friend who kisses me. <laughs> All before I could officially call you my boyfriend. <laughs> and you've been right by my side holding my hand this entire time. I promise to stand by your side through your best and the worst of times. I promise to keep listening to your daily fun facts even though they are really ever fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're going on an adventure and you will have a tale or two to tell. Can I promise you will love every moment of your adventure? No. But whether you do or not, you will not be the same because of it. We are made from our longest days and our smallest thoughts, but they are also where I find my love for you grows deeper. When we huddle in blankets at midnight and gaze up at the moon, I vow to make a life of the little moments, to make time for them, remember them, and love you in them, from this day till my last day.
most of um, everything that can be said has already been said, and I uh, like half as you as about as much as I should. And uh, <laughs> Do you have a license for that? <laughs> I have to say that only my son would be cutting his wedding cake with a sword. Tim's always had a bit of a passion for swords and such things, so... A long bowman! They have stupid rank. Yeah. Like, Tim, I think it's safe to say you have an interest in quite well-written, developed stories, yeah? And Laura, you enjoy re-watching the entire Gossip Girl series once a year. <laughs> What will each of you want to tell your newly wed selves in 30 years' time to start a video channel? Hello, Prime Me. Right? I think it's a thing. Oh, <laughs> It's not the challenge that Tim needs, it's the reason. It's the reason to be the best person he can be. And from having the extreme privilege to be involved in these two people's lives, I can safely say that, that for Tim, the reason is Laura. To which the following line I then read was, Future me probably thinks this is pretentious. <laughs> I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. <laughs>